Hey guys, what's up? My name is Anthony, and welcome to another edition of BNA Sports Talk. And today I want to talk about the Las Vegas Raiders and uh, what they could potentially do at quarterback in the next couple of years because Derek Carr is just not doing it. The relationship is frayed, and yeah, he's just good. He's good, not great. And he, he was an MVP candidate, I think, back in like 2016. But uh, yeah, he's he's just not doing it for John Gruden. John Gruden likes to bring in multiple um, multiple quarterbacks to create competition because it's just like I remember fre- uh, junior year in cross country. My coach is just like the freshman's doing better than you. What's going on? What's going on? So John Gruden is probably pestering him like Nathan Peterman's doing well. What's going on? What's going on? And plus, these guys can develop and you can trade them for future asset- assets, as- assets, assets. So let's take a look at Derek Carr's contract and potentially what. They could do to um to move to move him. So, uh, currently he's on a five-year, one hundred twenty-five million dollar contract. People are like, oh, this is overpay in the beginning. Now it looks like you know it's a pretty decent contract. You know you just gotta wait. You gotta wait some time. Uh, so right now he's in his uh, third year of his uh, contract. He's uh, owed eighteen point nine million dollars this year, um, and they can he's, they can get out of his contract for seven point nine million dollars in dead cap. So the cap it is twenty one and a half million. And they can get out of it for $8 million. And at Oakland Raiders, they, the Las Vegas Raiders, they have a pretty decent cap situation right now. And they, they can easily move him if they really want. You know, they have no real ties. And then next year, if I believe, it's a $2.5 million cap. And then with a six-year option that they could pick up, yeah, that, that's pretty decent. And if you look at the, um, the, the Las Vegas Raiders, well, the Oakland Raiders last year, because they, they were the Oakland Raiders last year, they lost five of the last six games. And, uh, you know, Derek Carr can't really win those big... He's won some big games, but his stigma... He's, he hasn't really proven he can win big games yet, and he is in his seventh year now. So, it's like, okay, when, when is the bread going to come to rise? That's not really a saying, but, like, uh, John Gruden wants, wants a mobile quarterback, a guy that can do multiple things. And there's some guys that I could see joining him. But last year, they were fairly decent. I mean, uh, Derek Carr didn't really have a lot of weapons. You had Josh Jacobs, but you take a look at Darren Waller was your number one receiver, and he was a tight end. Um, and Hunter Renfro, you could say Tyrell Williams. Um, then, yeah, they, they didn't really have anybody. Uh, JJ, Nels, um, JJ Nelson, like, if you take a look at the names on this list, none of them really pop out at you, but they did add um, a good threat this year in Henry Ruggs. The thing is, he's a more of a short guy. People think he's a deep threat. He's more of a short guy, so a more of a short guy that can extend plays, like an Odell, kind of, in a way. But, like, he's a guy that can turn a slant and go, go yard with it. And... Um, yeah, Henry Ruggs, I think he brought in, if, if you take a look at it, he's like, Derek Carr, if you can't do it with this guy, then we're moving on. I'm moving on. And it's, plus, it's a scheme fit, I think, that he wants to do. So, yeah, so poten- some potential guys, Cam Newton. You know, you have Marcus Mariota as a backup. You can obviously bring Marcus Mar- in, Mar- Mariota in. But I think John Gruden uh, and Cam Newton, uh, Cam Newton's like up to the challenge. He's like, I can do it. You know, he, he's kind of like that mindset right now. He's like, I can do anything. You know, I, I'll, I'll take a shot. And John Gruden, he can bring Cam Newton in. And uh, I, I think that they can work well together. I think Cam Newton's accuracy is going to hurt him. Um, you know, his, his, he has a cannon of an arm. But, you know, especially with the shoulder surgeries, is he going to be in playing shape? And, you know, is he going to be able to throw like he used to? He, it, wasn't even, it wasn't even that impressive. He had like a 55 completion percentage. That's I think, would really frustrate John Gruden. But I think you'd take a chance on Cam Newton to bring in a guy who uh, offers leadership skills and he could challenge. You know, I think Cam Newton would be up for it, especially, like, his revitalization. I think it could be a good thing for Las Vegas revenue and things like that. Marcus Mariota, I just don't think it's going for me. Uh, the thing about Mar- Marcus Mariota, he's a, he's a decent quarterback. You know, a lot of people shit on him. But the thing is, he's like another Derek Carr. He's not going to throw interceptions. And, you know, he's, I think, with the fifth, sixth year in the league, he, he, can, he can do a decent enough job. But he's not going to be much of an upgrade over Derek Carr, and you want an upgrade. So a guy that I think they could bring in is Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott has learned how to read the line of scrimmage. Um, I think, you know, um, he wants a guy that's going to be accepting of him. John Gruden is kind of a tough love guy. But yeah, John, John Gruden uh, had some high praise for Dak Prescott when he was coming out of, uh, you know, out of college. He thought he was really smart. And, you know, we've seen, we've seen uh, you know, coordinators just like, oh, let's take a chance. And especially next year, it's going to be a prime window for John Gruden to sign Dak Prescott. Um, and he, he'd give him a lot of love. I think he would. Um, I, you know, we've seen with John Gruden, they, they bought a house. He bought a house next to Derek Carr. So it's not like he's, he's ruthless. And yeah, so Dak Prescott would be an amazing option for the, uh, for the Las Vegas Raiders. I also think that the Las Vegas Raiders could look at signing like an Aaron Rodgers. I mentioned that, but I'm like, 
he's not really that mobile. And he gets out of the pocket. He's more accurate when he runs. But the thing about Aaron Rodgers, I think they challenge each other too much. I think it would be a, a hard relationship to get together. So that's why I don't, I don't think it's a possibility. Um, so my number one is Dak Prescott. That's the most glaring and obvious one. We don't know who's coming out of college. KJ Costello looks good. The guy out of North Dakota State, he looks like he makes good decisions. 28 touchdowns, zero interceptions last year. So we'll see what happens. It all depends on their draft spot. If they're a top five draft pick this year, I think they go quarterback in the draft. But... If they're not, I could see them easily picking up a quarterback. They're not going to go after a Phillip Rivers or something like that after he's, you know, his one-year deal. I think they're going to pick up his second deal. They're not going to go after like a Ben Roethlisberger or a uh, you know, Jacoby Brissett. He wants to have a staple because you take a look at this roster, it's, it's growing. You know, you've, you've had top, you know, you have two first-round picks for the past couple of years now. You had three last year. So your defense looks like it's going to be in its prime. And then you need a quarterback, ideally on a cheap deal. That's going to be able to, um, you know, do it. And that, that's what the Patriots think they have in Jared Stidham. They think they have a guy that's going to be able to win on a cheap contract. They're like, if he can, great. But if not, we'll just get rid of him. It's cheap anyway. So it's just like it's a win-win for them. If he, if he, doesn't, if he doesn't play well, we just get rid of him. But if he does play well, we have our next future quarterback. And, um, yeah, the, the, the Raiders are in a tough spot because they're paying their quarterback $21 million a year. And... Uh, they, they feel just a little bit hamstrung because they don't feel like he has the top-end talent to take the team over the hill. You know, he hasn't played a playoff game yet. What, what happens when he does make the playoffs? We've seen down the stretch he wasn't able to win those big games against the Jets, against the Broncos, against, I think, uh, who else did they play? Against the Jaguars. You couldn't win those games. And there's a reason why uh, John Gruden does like you. And I think, you know, it, it, when the hay meets the barn or whatever the saying is, um, you, you got to get rid of him. If you don't think you have your quarterback, then you're not going to put up a bunch of effort. You're not going uh, to um, be excited to wake up and play every day and, and coach and, you know, do the work. You know, John Gruden loves of, you know, football. But, you know, Las Vegas, their car, it, it's just, it feels like the relationship has met its, its turn. And, you know, Cam Newton, Marks Mariota, and Dak Prescott are viable options. I think Dak Prescott's the best option. And then uh, there's, nothing, there's nothing really much else out of there that screams sexy to me. Um, and, you know, you obviously have the quarterbacks coming out of this draft. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.